All right, let's move on to this preview panel here. Um, this first button, don't worry about that. This button uh, shows you how zoomed in you want to be. If you click to, uh, click fit up to 100%, it'll show you as much as possible. Um, I'm not quite sure the difference between fit and fit up to 100%, but it'll just show you as much as possible at the same time. Um, this is basically it's a way to kind of have little rulers so that you can easily tell where you're going and stuff but title and action safe let me just briefly comment on this basically on different screen resolutions your video will show differently so for some screens they won't actually see this text they'll see maybe this half but they won't see the rest that's outside of this first box um, and it just has to do with resolutions and stuff most people just use this to line things up but you want to keep in mind that most of the text you want in your video to be within this this small box but people use it all the time to line things up so that they're in the middle like this um, and then you can just turn it off next don't worry about this don't worry about that don't worry about that this is important um, if you click half well basically it's it's how um, good quality it renders your video so while you're going here um, you'll notice because it's on full it's really slow to try to preview it but if I go to quarter it's a little bit easier to preview because it's a lot more blurry as you can see from this text it's extremely pixelated but I still get the idea without having that super slow motion um, so that's really useful I usually just keep it at quarter and then turn it up to full if I need to preview something and this will have to do with when you're working with 3D don't worry about that really right now and that's pretty much it for that and let's move on to this this preview window here here you can basically watch your footage preview like this um, now notice if you click this button or press O I mean zero on your keyboard in the numpad it will do a what's called a RAM preview and basically it's pre-rendering as you can see from the screen thing it's showing how much has been rendered and it'll play smoothly through the next time you play it. Um, when you change it, it will unrender and then you have to render it again. So if you play it again, now it's super smooth. So RAM preview is really cool. And keep in mind, RAM preview is the only way to hear the audio and preview it. Um, otherwise, playing it like this won't show. You won't hear the audio. But if you press zero, then it'll it'll show you the audio. Um, we'll get into this a little bit later when I actually create something with you guys um, but that's just a preliminary look at those buttons there's a lot of extra buttons and you can look at those by yourself um, next is just the text options and stuff it's pretty normal things then effects and presets you can search all your effects right in here or you can go up to effect and search them right here they need to be applied to something though so you can't just get an effect without um, a layer selected so that's pretty much it for all those and the timeline here uh, just a couple things to note when you move stuff around they'll um, it'll change on um, when it shows in your video so be careful not to accidentally move stuff around that shouldn't be moved around um, and then this bar right here this small bar this is where this is kinda like your workspace so when you try to do the pre-render stuff we'll watch it for a second it'll stop and end right between here and it'll only play a preview of that spot so if you're in a five minute composition 
and you just want to see this one little section, it's really useful to just drag this around or you can just reset it back to the whole piece. So that's pretty cool. And um, also this button right here, this allows you to zoom into your footage and you can't really tell because this is um, these are long pieces of footage. I guess if I were to make it smaller. Okay, it's a small piece of footage. But when I zoom in like this, it gets bigger. Not that it actually is getting longer. It's just showing you a bigger preview of it. So it means that you can do finer adjust adjustments. Now you can go perfectly to five seconds. Whereas before, you know, it, it's hard to see. So you can actually go frame by frame right here. 24F is 24 frames, 25. So this is one frame. You can't get smaller than that. So that's basically one picture. So it's really cool. You can actually edit down to each frame by going that far. All right, guys. I hope this didn't bore you. I hope it, it showed you kind of what all these buttons do. And I know it's going to be really hard at first to kind of understand After Effects because it's so huge and it's got a lot of buttons. But don't worry about it. Um, let me just show you a picture of what it should look like to your mind because I'm going to make you ignore the stuff you won't be using right now. And you can always uh, explore it by yourself, but there's no reason to think that you're going to use that until you actually do because then it just gets really hectic. So this is a picture of how it looks like when you ignore the buttons you probably won't be using. Isn't that a lot more clean? Alright, so hopefully that helps you to be able to get a feel for what the program can do. In my next video I'll be talking a little bit more about some other features and uh, probably starting to work you through a project so that you can start following me along because this is a video I already did but actually it's not mine someone it's a template but this is a video that's already made but we can work on a video together so that you're not lost in after effects all right guys hopefully this was helpful and see you later thanks for watching